This is Death Metal, a mysterious album found by an anonymous 4chan user. It's important to me personally because it single-handedly sparked my interest in lost media, but there's a lot here, so I'm just going to have to hop right in. To explain this album, we're going to have to go all the way back to 2016. <laughs> On September 21st, 2016, an anonymous 4chan user posted this to the Mew board, a board dedicated to music. Hey hey, I picked this up because it looked interesting. I wasn't able to find any references to it online whatsoever. Even with super obscure bands, you might expect to find some old MySpace page or mention in some form. Does anybody recognize the album? I have expected it to be noise pop or some vaporwave wankery. Listening to it now, track 1 is like hella lo-fi shoegaze with noise panning back and forth. This isn't some viral marketing bullshit, I'm just curious if anyone can shed some light on it. And I'm slightly excited by the prospect of owning a rare album. We will come back to this later, but the rest of the thread is basically people shitting on some guy who suggested a band called Pachinko by telling him it's actually Panchico. Okay, now we know the first instance of this album to exist on the internet was in 2016. One more thing to note is that the album date is the year 2000, and was supposedly found in the UK. Now it's time to look at all the other evidence and theories to try to understand where this album could have originated from. I didn't see it on the way here, that's a fucking skateboard, what the hell? That's fucked. <laughs> Alright, let's crack on with this god-awful video. As we examine the evidence this album provides, I'm going to keep in mind the two theories that make the most sense about the origin of the album. One, it's a hoax created to draw on popularity for the album. Or two, it was an album created by some high school kids that ripped a couple of CDRs and gave it to their friend. I also want to say that if we can prove with 100% certainty that this album was created after the year 2000, the album will almost certainly be proved as a hoax. One thing you will notice with this whole album is the bit crushing, which becomes very evident throughout. The bit crushing sound gets worse and worse farther into the 18 minute album. Many speculate that it wasn't created on purpose, and it was actually caused by CD rot, common and cheap old CDRs from the time. Now I can't 100% guarantee that this damage could not have been created digitally, but I think it's very unlikely. It does add to the mystery in an almost perfect way though, so it does seem a little bit suspicious. Here's the user Kitten Puke's opinion posted in a comment on Rate Your Music. So right off the bat, I have to say that I believe this is not a case of something being faked for the sake of it. The fact that no one has tracked down this album yet really makes me think it has to be an actual release with actual distortion just occurring from the one bad copy that surfaced. There's too much effort and honest to god beautiful music on this thing to think it would be intentionally masked by all this thumping digital static for the sake of appealing to a joke. Maybe it was an aesthetic choice, but then I don't see why the person posting it would feel the need to lie. In the journey for more information, let's start with the album's songs. My source for lyrics is genius, because there is a lot of arguments between what the lyrics actually are, I thought I'd get them all from one source. First song is the title track, Death Metal. Nothing really to note here other than the really emo lyrics. They really hit you. Aren't you holding on to someone special while I'll listen to death metal? Like damn. For being almost 20 years old now, I can still relate to feeling sad and cranking Slayer for all my neighbors to hear. Second song is Stabilizers for Big Boys. Stabilizers, by the way, is another word for training wheels. The whole song is emo groovy as fuck, and the lyrics are probably even more emo. The whole interlude is literally incomprehensible, but it still bangs. Third song is Laputa. 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 According to Wikipedia, Laputa is a flying island. It's definitely Laputa. Laputa is a flying island described in the 1726 book Gulliver's Travels by Jonathan Swift. The bass line in this song is also groovy, but the rest of the song is kind of sad. Listening to it, I definitely hear a neutral Milk Hotel influence. Seriously, she came falling through the sky? May as well have said two-headed boy floating in glass, am I right boys? Fourth song is my favorite, Eyes of Ibad, which is a reference to the Dune fictional universe which I know nothing about. Again, lots of neutral Milk Hotel-esque lyrics, and it has a lot of vocal layering, so they obviously spent some time on it. All of these things mentioned above did exist before 2000, so it's still possible that this was the year the album was created. Going back to the original 4chan thread, one 4chan user swears the cover is a Death Grips reference. I don't really understand this. I mean, maybe the ex-military with the face close-up, or Money Store because of the drawing style, but either way, it doesn't make much sense. A weird coincidence, though, is the overlap between Panchico fans and Death Grip fans. For example, one guy named The Drummer from Death Grips uploaded YouTube videos of the songs, and Kenichiwa, the guy who posted the discogs for Death Metal, has the whole Death Grips discography in his collection. 
Kinda weird, but nothing definitive. I decided to look through the metadata of the original death metal image posted on 4chan. It showed this. Whatever the fuck this shit means. I think it means he was taken on a Samsung phone because the guy off some random forum had similar metadata. Metadata? Metadata? Fuck it, is it metadata or metadata, bro? I don't even know. Metadata. Metadata. And he was taken with a Samsung camera from 2016. But this is basically a dead end as far as I'm concerned. I also took a look at the Google Trends page of the search term Panchico. It actually looked pretty promising at first until I compared it to Pachinko. And we can see the align pretty similarly. So it's most likely just people accidentally typing in Panchico instead of Pachinko. There really hasn't been too many leads, and this is probably the third video on the subject saying basically the same shit, but I thought I would take a crack at making a video about this to bring some more attention to the subject. Either way, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you like this video. I'll be trying to post more. Also, thanks to everyone on Lost Media and Lost Wave. Alright, see ya.